Welcome to the Elevator World Podcast. This is your daily industry news update for January 14th, 2016. In today's news, a virus supplies displays in a major Chinese airport, a child escapes injury in a China escalator mishap, and the CTBUH marks completion of 100 super talls worldwide. Avire has supplied 177 C2 color LCD multimedia displays to Terminal 2 at Tianjin Binhai International Airport in China. The displays from eMotive were designed in accordance with specifications from airport elevator contractor Kone. 41 12.1-inch displays are in-car with the remaining 136 combined with hall lanterns and gongs in landing areas. The airport is among the fastest growing in China and a major cargo center. It handled approximately 12 million passengers in 2014. The Hong Kong Economic Journal reports the foot of a four-year-old boy traveling with his family became trapped in a gap in an escalator in a mass transit railway or MTR station in Beijing on January 9th, but the child was freed in approximately 20 minutes and briefly hospitalized with only minor injuries. An MTR investigation found the unit in question was in compliance with step and panel gap width requirements and had last been inspected on December 28, 2015. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat marked the completion of 100 super tall buildings, 300 meters or taller, worldwide when buyers closed on their residences in 432 Park Avenue in New York City on December 23, 2015. The 425 and a half meter tall super slim tower is the tallest all residential building worldwide and the 14th tallest overall. Although most super talls are in Asia or the Middle East, New York City continues to be a super tall hotspot with seven super talls, second only to Dubai. While the world's first 50 super talls were built In the 80-year span between 1930 and 2010, they are now multiplying at a remarkable pace, with the number doubling to 100 in only five years. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter at Elevator World.